exciting times. We're done. New tank setup is ready to go. Um, and I think it looks pretty gorgeous. So big difference to our old one. Massively new. Um, can't resist showing it off. You can see uh, right there is Dancer, one of our uh, Yabbies. And then just behind, uh, we've got another one there. Um, she's down to one claw. We haven't named her. We've got three in there. We've got Mushu too. We've got Dancer. Um, and we haven't gotten around to naming her yet. So um, <laughs> it's, it's all in good time. So we've got a few babies um, as well in here, baby yabbies. Um, which have survived, which is great. We've also got um, an array, I'm not sure how well you will see, uh, of little, it's probably too close, of little uh, baby fish as well in there. Um, our fish are even breeding, which is great. The more the merrier in the tank, so that's very exciting. Um, we've got a bunch of neons, you can see in the corner they've all stayed together. Um, don't dare to be split apart. So it's it's really exciting for us. Um, you may remember from your my last video, um, uh, one of my videos, I've told you not to put in these plants um, on the ground. I stand by that. Please don't. I'll do a video in a couple of days when all of this will be sitting at the top of the tank because the yabbies will have gotten comfortable in their new home and they'll have brooded the lot. So yes, the rule of thumb, um, you're better off getting something that automatically uh, floats off at the top of the tank. We tend to get all our greenery from our pond out the back, which is not an in-ground inbuilt pond. It's it's a little above ground pond. It's quite lovely. Um, there's Mushu too at the front. Uh, he's quite a big boy. Uh, I have to say he definitely rules the roost. Um, very quiet. This is the first time he's come out since we put them in a while ago. So... Like I said, they'll, they'll destroy this, but I got carried away. It was a new tank. I wanted it to look really pretty for you guys. Um, it won't stay this way. So this is uh, the new tank. Uh, plenty of gravel for them, plenty of greenery. I'll give them some food soon too. Uh, all the fish that we put in uh, is actually designed to be part of their food source as well. So we obviously don't get expensive fish, um, and we certainly get fish that are going to maintain. You can see... Uh, um, over here are the yabbies just uh, a dancer there is just already starting to uproot things so yeah exciting times um, if anyone wants me to post up a video of something specific please let me know I now have a new 90 litre tank uh, to be able to do that so uh, I am really excited about that really great at the top couple of feeding portals uh, and then at the back filtering system check it out brand new clean and then this is after a day of running so you've got to bring a lot of the old bacteria um, and fauna across from the old tank uh, it just helps create an ecosystem for them um, that's that's safe that they're used to so it's already getting dirty but yeah we're up we're running it's like a massive tv uh for us to watch so uh let me know if there's any videos you'd like to see.